Hello and welcome to Ali Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how I make this earring. Um, actually this is a decrease or a smaller size version of the previous one that I already made. And I couldn't find the size of this thing anymore, the loop. So I just bought the smaller one. And now I need to adjust every counting that I did before. And these are the smaller sizes already. And I will show you how I made it again. So now I'll be using this yarn color embroidery floss or floss yarn and two beads and I have a fish hook earring two pieces and these are the hook wire to attach the bead and these are the loop that I'm going to use and I'll be using a 1.3 millimeter crochet hook a needle for a weave-in later on after we, we're all done with our crocheting a pair of scissors and a set of pliers to begin with we're going to make a magic ring tighten your loop a little bit for your magic ring and then begin with a single crochet one two three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Then tighten up the tail of your work. And slip stitch into the beginning single crochet then chain three one two and three yarn over and double crochet into the same stitch as where you do your slip stitch make a double crochet Then chain two, one and two. Yarn over. Make a unfinished double crochet in the same stitch that you made your two double crochet, just like here. Grab the yarn and pull through two loops. Then yarn over again and insert your hook in this next stitch. Now yarn over and grab the yarn and pull through two loops. Now you got three loops left in your hook. Grab the yarn and pull through those three loops. Then chain two, one and two. And again, yarn over, make a not finished or unfinished double crochet on that same stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, now you've got two loops on your hook, again, yarn over, and make a unfinished double crochet into the next stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn, up, yarn over and pull through 
two loops. Now you got three loops onto your hook. Again, yarn over and pull through all that three loops. And chain two. And again, one more time, I'll show you how I did it. Yarn over, make unfinished double crochet first into the same stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and make an unfinished double crochet into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now you got three loops into your hook. Pull through all the three loops, then chain two. So continue doing this, and I'll meet you here at the end. Now this is our last work. Yarn over, unfinished double crochet. Yarn over, make unfinished double crochet into the next stitch. Then chain two again and now you have this slip stitch into the beginning uh, chain two over here slip stitch on that and then slip stitch into this chain two space and here is our work oops so now i'm going to insert my hook And make sure to put that in between my working yarn and the loop that I'm that is in the crochet hook just like here then chain one and make five single crochet into the chain two space one two three four and five after you've done your five single crochet you need to make a chain of up to five one two three four and five then single crochet into the next chain two space one two three four for a total of five single crochet and then chain of up to five again two three four and five and again in every chain two space you need to make a five single crochet two, three, four, and five, and make chain five, and single crochet again into the next chain two space one. Continue doing this until you reach the last chain two space. And so this is the last part of our work this is my fifth single crochet into the chain two space and we're done here so now cut your yarn but make sure that you have allowance for the weaving pull the yarn and using your yarn needle You should cover the whole thing in here, just like what I'm doing here. I covered it all the way around. So what I'll do is insert your yarn needle into the loop. Then go into the center. And go into the other side. Oops.
just to make sure that you cover the whole thing it doesn't matter where you're going or what are you gonna do to cover the the space it depends on you now this is it and as you can see it's fully covered so now i need to tighten up And we need to hide our yarn to make it look like, I mean, to make it look cleaner. Cut the excess yarn, and here is our finished product. Now, using your pliers, attach the finished product into the wire with a loop in it, then put in your bead and make another loop. And using your pliers again, grab the fish hook earring and put in your finish work. And here it is our finished product. <laughs>